Hi, I'm going to show you today how you are going to do the needed configuration in order to do the automatic import of Excel sheets or CSV file from your bank statement during the bank reconciliation. So first, you have to go to uh, check this Excel sheet. So you have an Excel sheet coming from the bank. Inside this Excel sheet, you have six, seven, whatever can the number of uh, columns. So in my example, I have seven uh, rows, seven, sorry, seven columns. So you have transaction date, description type, amount, currency, value date, balance. So you have this Excel sheet in front of you. The first step you have to save as this uh, sheet into CSV file. So you have to go and save it as CSV comma delimited. So this is how Dynamics NAV can import. This is one of the uh, methods that you can import a bank statement. Uh, you convert it into CSV file. So you have this CSV file in front of you. So uh, you have to make sure that whenever, before you import it, you have to close it from here. So now I have to go to Dynamics and AV. The first step is to define what we call data import or data exchange definitions. So you go into data, you put here in the search data exchange, okay, and definitions. You go to data exchange definition. When you click on it, you create a new one. So you click on new and here you put data exchange definition, DED, bank one, for example. So this is for my bank uh, example. So I can put here, this is for the data exchange definition for bank one. So you have to put something that is meaningful for you because you, can, you might have the same data definition for different banks or for bank one. The file tab, the file tab must be variable in our case, okay? And uh, uh, the, you have to def define what you call the uh, reading, writing, XML port, okay? You have this reading, writing must be the same uh, applied for one, two, two, zero, and two, two, zero, okay, which is uh, the one related to data exchange import CSV and the handling code unit is one two four zero okay so here when you select this one two three zero is the data exchange from file so you have to make sure that your XML port if you are lost for which uh, value to define you can check your other uh, one created here you have already the data exchange back for example if you have already defined so uh, then so you have to define the reading xml port exchange data handling code unit the file encoding you keep it as is windows and column column separator is comma in my example and because my sheet here i have a header so i have to specify here header line one so this would mean i have one header line inside this when you finish this general definition for your data exchange definition, you have to go to column structure. So now you have to check, you, you have to create one line for each of your columns here. So I have first transaction date, transaction date. The format, in my example, is date and uh, day, day, slash, month, month, slash, year, year, year. Data formatting. It must be en-us. This is uh, fixed for this form because it takes from you the format that you are using on the server. So I have the transaction date. I have description. It is text. Then I have the third column here. Uh, it is type. Okay, also text. I don't want to, uh, I will ignore it. Then after the type, I have amount. So I have to make sure it is, the amount is decimal. When it is the amount also, I have to specify what is the data formatting. So it is English US because to consider the format. After the amount, I have the currency. 
uh, keep it text because I will ignore it. Then I have value date and balance. So I have value date, text, and balance. I'm, I, keep, I kept them here text because I don't want to do anything with it. So if I would like to import the balance, for example, I have to put decimal. If I would like to import the, to, uh, to, to now the value date, I have also to put date the same as the transaction date. So now because I'm going to only consider transaction date description amount, so the other uh, column, I keep them as text. When I finish the column definition, then I go to line definition. I have here already created header, default, default, already directly created. I click on field mapping. I make sure to create a new map for it. So since I'm, I'm considering uh, to import uh, uh, my data, okay, so to, uh, to my uh, directly to the bank reconciliation table. So I have, I can click on advance. I can put bank. I, I know the bank reconciliation line that is 274. I selected 274. Okay. The, the field mapping, I have the mapping code unit. Okay. I must be, uh, uh, I must know the field mapping code unit before I select or I enter this. Uh, it is fixed. You have to use a fixed uh, code unit. I'm going to share with you this. Uh, number based on what I have. Okay, previous I will select one. And I will check the number because I for I don't remember the number exactly. So let's say here it is the one two four eight the code unit one two four eight the process bank reconciliation line. If you forget about number, you can go again and put. One, two, four, eight, or you select when you go to advance. Okay, you put here in the name, caption, reconciliation lines. Okay, it process one, two, four, eight. So you can select this one, two, four, eight. Now, for each column that you would like to enter into nav, you have to create a row. So I put transaction date. Transaction date inside nav is here transaction date, and I have description. It is to be entered as description, and then I have the amount, and it has to be entered here as statement amount. So I have to define the three columns that I would like to import into nav. Uh, I have my definition is, is ready now. So I call it definition test. It's not the one test. What I call it is, if you remember, I started by data definition okay so uh, data ded bank one this is mine so i go i made sure that i have this definition well defined so now i have i will close this i have a new definition called ded bank one okay where I have the read writing XML port specified one two 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 zero one two four zero here and the file type is variable. Okay, headline is one and I define the column definition and the line definition. So the next step is to go to bank export. I put in search bank export import setup. So I have to create a new one setup. It's also B I S okay, so this is bank import setup for bank one. So it is bank import setup for bank one. It is direction here is one import. Okay, the code unit is also uh, don't need to, to specify. Okay, the most important is to define specify data exchange definition code. So you put here DED bank one. So I have now the new bank import setup linked to my data exchange definition code. Okay, so now I have to go to my bank, bank one for training. I select here the transfer statement, the transfer section, bank statement import format. I select the one that I have just created BIS bank one. 
So this is how the bank is ready to do automatic reconciliation. Go to bank reconciliation. I click on new. I select my bank account, bank one. Okay. And I click on import bank statement. So here I select my CSV file. Okay. I didn't, uh, what I call it here, it's my bank statement imports. Okay. I call it and it has to be CSV, so it's bank statement to import CSV. When I click OK, you see it works properly. All the fields that I have in my bank transaction type, this, the amount. If you see the total amount here is, uh, I don't know if I have, I can do some of this one, but for me it's not taken as amount. Okay, so if I select, this balance considered number so so here you make sure that you have all your excel sheet the 32 and 13080 they are all imported so this is how you do the import i hope you liked and you find it easy for you to do this bank reconciliation if you need any help you can always get back to me on my whatsapp or call uh, 9617092700 or to my email or on LinkedIn. You can chat with me or send me a message or through Facebook. Thank you for watching and I hope you enjoyed this. For later.